what I'm demonstrating here is the differences in efficiencies between electric motors. Electric motors have different standards or different classes in efficiency. By starting, we have IE1, then IE2, IE3, IE4. People buy normally IE1, which is your cheaper end machine with low efficiency values. We as Zest has gone in the past and we have started to introducing higher efficiency motors to our customers. We've changed from IE1 to IE2 many years ago. And then in 2015, we moved over from the IE2 to an IE3. And now we're launching the IE4 motor, which is the super premium efficiency motor above the IE3. This motor is running now, the IE1 standard efficiency motor. It's turning the whole shaft with the fan, sucking air in, and it's going to move my ball here to show you or to present a load. Then, if you can see on this, this page here, I'm measuring how much power I'm using. And I'm needing 962 watts to do that work. So I ran that motor, I measured the power, I'm doing this work, I'm doing the IE3 next, and then I will compare the two and show you. So it's the same load. Everything is the same, except for the IE3 motor have higher efficiency. In this case, from IE1 have a 72% efficiency, where the IE3 have 82.5%. That's quite a significant jump, but it's because it's such a small motor. The smaller the motor, the bigger the jump in efficiencies. The bigger the motor, the smaller the jump. So when looking at my IE3 motor, you can see that I have now doing the same work, but I only need 836 watts. Comparing to the IE1 motor, I have a saving of 11.8%. A payback period of 0.3 years. Because the IE3 motor is a little bit more expensive than the IE1, we're talking in a region of 15 to 20%. Now I'm going to start my IE4 motor, which is the same price as the IE3 motor, but it's got additional savings. Just have a look. My efficiency has increased from 82.5% IE3 to 85.6% IE4. So I'm turning the same shaft, I'm turning the same fan, I'm doing exactly the same work and I'm using less power to do that. So now I'm on 775 watt. Comparing to the IE1, it's 17.5% saving. Comparing the IE4 with the IE3 motor, I have additional of 5.7% saving, which is significant. Great payback times. And also, can you imagine on a small motor like that, running it for 7,000 hours a year, I have a carbon dioxide reduction of 2.2 tons that I'm emitting into the atmosphere by the electricity used by that motor. What's also on this demonstration, we have the motor scan. I have a motor scan sensor and a gateway which constantly monitoring the cooperation of that motor. It measures the temperature, the running hours, the vibrations, and it locks all that data in the sensor sends it to my gateway which is an access point that automatically sends the data to the cloud which gives you a report by the press of a button without any human intervention which is a great feature of the motor scan additionally to the motor scan it is now configured to also work on the driven equipment we can have it on the pump or the fan or the compressor or the conveyor motor or the conveyor belt the gearbox we can have it on many of the driven equipment also monitoring what's going on, creating a trend and warning you when there's maintenance required or when there's an alert. The i4 has so many more features compared to the i3. It is the same W22 construction, which is a very robust motor, very well known in industry and with our end users. Additional features like extended grease pipe on the driving side, removable gland plates on the terminal boxes, and Additionally, the, all the savings that you can achieve. So the higher efficiency means savings immediately from the day that you install it. Another great feature of the i4 motor is the C4 lamination that we use for the core of the motor. What is so special about this is that you can repair that motor back to an efficiency of i4 
because of the high temperature it can handle during a burnout and in a repair.